the church, when it walked away from her savior, leaders started killing one another. They shed the blood of the saints. All I'm going to say is this. I won't go into much details. The medieval ages witnessed a lot of bloodshed within Christendom. Within Christendom. Christians who are supposed to be brothers in Christ killed each other. There was a bloodbath throughout the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all these medieval ages. Because you killed the saints, the blood of the saints that you shed, the Lord is righteous. He will make you drink of the blood which you have shed because this is their just which is due to them. What goes around comes around. You kill, you'll be killed. Simon, put the sword back in its place because if you take by the sword, you shall be taken by the sword. The Lord's sword is not this metal that chops heads. The Lord's sword is his word. For his word is sharper than a two-edged sword. And his word is love. Christianity doesn't chop heads. Christianity restores heads that have been chopped by Satan. When the church chased the world, when the church allowed mammon, money, the roots to all evil, the love of money, when the church chased the thrones and power, they started killing their fellow Christians. The way you kill those saints and shed their blood, you will drink from the blood for the Lord is righteous and this is your justice. O church, whom you have denied your heavenly groom.